Hello again YouTube, Carrie Emmy back with another Broadway review. Tonight I would like to discuss Bring It On, the musical. Now, the biggest draw for, well there's two big draws that will bring butts into seats for this show. First draw is if you like the um, Bring It On franchise of movies. Um, if that is what is motivating you, my one disclaimer would be to don't to not come in expecting a direct replica of the original movie or any of the sequels. It's very much its own story. It just has to do with cheerleading and it's under the Bring It On brand. So I just want to put that out there in case people are, you know, excited to see, you know, the Kirsten Dunst character recreated lines that you like, you know, sorry, not sorry, whatever. So there's that. And the second thing that will really draw people in, uh, which drew me in, made me very interested, is the uh, lyric, lyrical and musical talent. We have Tom Kitt and Lynn manuel Miranda and Amanda Green. And between the three of them, they have created In the Heights, Next to Normal, and Avenue Q. So that's some really pretty impressive talent there. Um, I wouldn't, I would also not go in expecting this show to be anything like those three plays. I think that you can see um, elements of their uh, compositional style in some of the songs. Uh, for instance, there was a song that kind of reminded me of um, everything else from Next to Normal. Uh, so I said to myself, yeah, that was a Tom Kitt song. So it's a very sweet show. Uh, I just read that it's getting extended uh, to January. It was only supposed to be here in New York until October. Um, so I was going to say it's just a sweet, light, optimistic um, summer show, but it's going to be here till the winter. So they are definitely doing something right. Um, the entire cast is unknown, which I think is pretty awesome. Lynn manuel Miranda actually tweeted on the first night of previews that 32 or 33 uh, actors and actresses were making their Broadway debuts that night. Now, on the performance tip, you could never say that there's anybody in the cast just sort of phoning it in because everybody, supporting, lead, doesn't care, I don't care who they are, everybody in this cast is giving everything they've got to their roles. And I thought that all the leading players and all the supporting players were just very, um, very likable, very engaging, very talented. Um, the one standout for me was a young girl by the name of Ryan Redmond. She played a character, uh, Bridget. I uh, won't give anything away, but she's just fantastic physical comedy, fantastic c comic timing. Um, she can actually really, really sang, like, ridiculously. Um, I just found her really charming. She was the standout for me, even though she's not the star star. Um, the stunts are unbelievable. So if you like your musicals with spectacle, you're going to get that galore in this show. People are back flipping and making human pyramids and cartwheels and yeah, you will absolutely be entertained on that front. And I would just say that it's a really sweet show that you could take your family to. You know, you don't have to worry. Well, there's some language, but um, I don't know might go over some kids heads maybe I don't know but um, it's just a very sweet show very sort of high school musical we're all in this together let's put on a show kind of thing and I just thought it was very light and likable and uh, enjoyable